Sal Capaccio here with Paul Hamilton, WGR Sports Radio 550 in the First Niagara Center media room. A big day in Buffalo sports, Paul. Did you see this coming? Ted Black out, Russ Brandon in. I didn't see Russ Brandon in. Uh, for a while now, I had heard there were problems down here and maybe Ted Black wouldn't survive, but no. I had no inkling whatsoever <laughs> that Russ Brandon was going to be president of the Buffalo Sabres. So what? let's start with Black real quick. What do you think led to that ultimately? Was this p piling up? Was this building up? Is this something from your standpoint as a beat reporter for the team that maybe just came on? How long has this been in the works? Yeah, for a while. Now, we spoke about this on the air. He was good with fans, and there's no question about that. I mean, he set up a system where fans could personally interact with him, and that's a good thing. And they would take into account a lot of things the fans asked them to do, but there were also parts of the operations that he wouldn't be aware were going on and things that were going on, and uh, some of his hirings probably were a little bit questionable, and people weren't doing the job that they were supposed to be doing, and it just caused problems, and it just kept building up and building up. So that's why I'd heard for a while now, and I'd even heard John Como was, was hoping he could be the president of the Sabres. I don't know if that's why he left Harbor Center. I can't tell you. Maybe he heard he wasn't going to and left. That would be total speculation. I don't know. And Russ said that this really came up just this past weekend. And if you read the accompanying story I have today about this, I was told several months ago that him and Doug Whaley really proved their worth through the entire uh, Doug Marone, Rex Ryan situation where the Pagulas realized they, they have someone here who really knows the landscape, knows the business side, has a big Rolodex, and they got them through it. After that happened, I think he really showed the Pagulas that he's a guy that they can lean on and count on. And I think that's why we got here today. There absolutely was no guarantee that Russ that's or right. Whaley was, were staying. That's right. They needed to show how they operated, how they worked, and they were under scrutiny from the Pagulas. The Pagulas wanted to see. Show us. Show us what you do. Show us you know, what, why you're valuable to the organization. And that's what they did. And I'll tell you what, to be able to sell the Buffalo Bills, you know, forget about on the field as a business, to be able to sell them the last 15 years, considering what's happened on the field, to me, I think is brilliant. And business is booming down there, and they make money down there. The Bills are thriving and have been thriving. And to be able to do that without making the playoffs since you know when, that's right. I think is a testament to him, I mean, forgetting about the football operations. And then uh, finally, he was asked a question today about the hockey operations. And <laughs> will you have your hands on it? What did he say? As far away as you can be, right? He's not yeah, going to And that's the way the Pagulas set it up with the Bills, right. too. They set it up where Whaley does his job. Russ is a business person now. Russ isn't going to make draft picks. Russ isn't making trades. He was asked to do that by Ralph Wilson. If your owner asks you to do it, you do it. It didn't work out real well. He is not going to be doing that with the Buffalo Sabres. Tim Murray reports to the Pagulas. He does not report to Russ Brandon, and Russ Brandon is totally fine with that. He wants nothing to do with picking players, making trades, or anything like that for the Buffalo Sabres. All right, man, good to have you back on the coverage. We look forward to Sabres and Bills coverage from Paul. Follow him on Twitter at PHAM1717, me at Sal Sports, always at WGR550, and right here at WGR550.com. A very surprising and interesting day in Buffalo sports here at the First Niagara Center Media Center. I'm Sal Capaccio for Paul Hamilton.